Hey guys, appreciate you uh, tuning in to my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk today about rethinking practice as an offensive uh, staff. Rethinking how you organize your practice. A lot of this stuff's coming out of my gun TRPO uh, system, which is on Coach 2. You can go there if you want it. That's my contact information and my website as well, so there's more information out there also. Uh, I've done a lot of this stuff even in the blog section on my website. Now, so today we're going to talk about the way we organize our practice and rethinking what you do in every element of where you're going. So uh, this is something I've had to learn the hard way. So I'm not coming to you as some expert who knew everything. It's something that we've learned as we've moved and it's really helped us out. Maybe it can help you out as well. So the first thing we do, which is traditional, is we do have an offensive line coach, a running back coach, receiver coach, quarterback coach, and we've got those guys. And during our individual, usually our players will go with that coach to work their daily fundamental drills, stuff they're gonna do all the time. Everyone should do that. That's not new or unique. One thing that we have tried to go away from though is any drill that we don't see on a Friday night. So I often ask my coaches, if you could run one drill, what would you run? And they'll tell me their most important drill. All right, give me one more. And we kind of work down. If you heard me before, we generally operate on the rule of three. So after you get past that third drill, that's dealing with whatever skill you're trying to teach, we're probably not running anything else. So if you have three drills on catching a ball at receiver, we're gonna really be heavy on one, a little bit of two, maybe get to three, but we're not going down to four, five, six, and seven if they're not that important to you. So really make sure in your individual time you are stressing drills that are gonna show up on a Friday, okay? If it doesn't, get rid of it, okay? Uh, the other thing that we do that's very unique is we go pods. And so what that means is the way our practice will be set up, they'll do their individual fundamental drills and then whatever we're working that day, whatever series we're working that day, let's say it's buck sweep, our running back coach will take anybody who may run the ball on buck sweep with him. Our guards will go with our running back coach and our second offensive line coach. We're a little blessed there. You may not have that, but the concept is still the same. Our guards are all working second level blocks. They're working kick, wrap, kick, wrap. Our running backs or anyone that may touch the ball are also working with our running back coach. That's what he's paid to do and what he's good at. That's why he's your running back coach. So he's working on ball security, cutting the right way, getting where we want him to get. While that's going on, a lot of times we'll take our quick tackle and we'll stick him over with the receivers while they're working spatial blocking. So some type of spatial blocking drill that receivers do all the time, and now we got a quick tackle over there. It looks funny, because you got a 260 pounder over there doing receiver blocking drills, but the reality is this. That receiver coach knows a whole lot more about blocking in space, probably, than your offensive line coach does. So you're putting them over there with the kids they're gonna be working with anyway. So you're working screen concepts or whatever you're working over there. He's working with them. Okay, while we work, while we would take our other guys they go to our offensive line coach. So our B and our Y, which is our tight end and our wing, and our strong tackle, and our center go to the offensive line coach. So now they're all working on, maybe it's down blocks or double teams or whatever it is, they're working with the expert on that stuff. So by going pods, you enable your coaches to coach the skill, not so much to coach a player on a skill they may not be as familiar with, or waste time by teaching a skill that some linemen don't need, okay? Then we go to group work. Inside of our group work is we're gonna start working a lot of the RPO action stuff. So for instance, for us, group work may be our receivers and our Bs, so our three receivers are gonna catch the ball the most, and our quarterback, everyone else is down there working as a group now, the concept we just came out of with the pod work. Team is where we also look a little different. In team, I would highly recommend you work situational football, which means you work third downs from the hashes. Every play for us is a situation. I don't like just snapping the ball in team. You know, we're getting a lot of our fundamental work up in here, so teamwork needs to be game type scenarios. And so that's something we do different, okay? Got more information, guys, on my website. Um, I'm, Got information on CoachTube as well. Reach out to me if you'd like more about this. There's just a lot of things that we've kind of learned the hard way uh, that have really paid off for us the last 